We're all gonna have rough days, tough days, where you're just not gonna wanna get out of bed. And you find that thing that is gonna get you up, gonna motivate you, and everybody goes through little slumps here and there, and you pick yourself up and you keep moving, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. After my accident, when I was in rehab, the Paralympics were going on in Sydney. And I was just reading about it and going, I'm gonna do that someday. And the doctors and nurses on my team were kind of like, that's an awesome goal to set for yourself, right? Let, let's, but let's take things one step at a time, you know? And, and so I said, mark my words, you know, I'm gonna be there. Rugby in particular, you know, filled a need that he had. And whether he knew it or not, I think he very quickly discovered this was something he was passionate about. Once a week, I basically got to go hop in a chair and vent my frustrations, right? I mean, it was the best therapy. It was like mental and physical rehabilitation. He was very passionate about it. He was fantastic at it. And as well as just the community of people he got to know and be a part of. It basically became a new family for me. They'd all sort of been in my shoes and been there and done that, gone through all the frustrations and learned how to deal with things and adapt to that. And so I feel like because of that, my learning curve was just exponential in learning how to move forward and deal with uh, life after a spinal cord injury. I was fortunate enough to go to three Paralympics for wheelchair rugby, Athens, uh, Beijing, and London. After London, you know, I wanted to kind of prioritize and spend more time with my family. And the kids were getting older, and they play a lot of sports, and I want to be involved in everything that they're doing. And there is Nothing more rewarding than just seeing them accomplish something. And it just doesn't happen overnight. It involves a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. You know, it's really great for character and development to have to struggle a little bit and then work through that. He puts in the work, does what he needs to do. He's a great teammate. He pushes himself to the limit. I didn't know cycling was gonna be the next thing, but um, I went to a couple of races and I, I loved it. It's one of those things that you can do. It's very social and you can do that with anybody. There's always somebody looking at you and you never know. It might be like that next kid that's like, I can do that. If you can be a good example or motivation for somebody to, to try something new or different, then that's what we gotta do. That's our role. You want to feel like you belong and ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, that's where sports and adaptive sports provides that place where kids can just be kids again.